Sarah Lambert was there as well the whole time, the showrunner who had written the scripts and expanded Meryl Day's world from the beautiful novel that it's based on into a much broader world and kind of a more threatening world. Lambs of God is about three nuns who have basically been forgotten about, who live in a, in a crumbling monastery and a young priest emerges from the wilderness to sell their property to a fancy hotel chain. The female characters in it are so strong and rich and strange and they are not like any women that you've seen in anything. They have found sanctuary together in this place from very, very different backgrounds and from very damaged backgrounds and that they kind of have to face their past in order to claim their future. These scripts, because they're treading paths that I don't think have ever really been trodden in television or on screen storytelling before, I think we all were like a little baffled about the little kind of crazy turns that each character would take or the story would take and where we would go. And Jeffrey always approached that with a practicality and a let's just find out where we go with this. Why is he here? I do not know cannot ask, and he will tell us. Why? <laughs> the monastery is set on an island off the coast of the United Kingdom, somewhere in the Northern Hemisphere, and is held together to the mainland by a causeway that occasionally is exposed. They shot incredible landscapes around coastal Tasmania and then they have built and created this fantastic crumbling monastery that the interiors were built in Fox Studios in Sydney and incredible detail and it looks like a place where lots and lots of people have lived and worked for centuries and not many people are left to look after it anymore. It's a really visually beautiful world. Those sets which were fantastic to film in and beautifully lit in daylight lighting and beautifully lit with candles for nighttime lighting. We were then had the exterior built in the Blue Mountains these fantastic gardens that were filled with vegetables and great vines growing everywhere. Everything was overgrown and the crumbling monastery just falling apart. Nature is completely overtaking this man-made object and turning it into this garden of paradise. The eye for detail and all of the, the set dresses and art department did an incredible job of just the garden, all the vegetable life and all of the f furnishings that are falling apart and uncared for. Just beautiful work. You want us to leave? We well, can't very well stay here. The place is falling down around your ears. We are an enclosed order, Father. We are not permitted to step outside these confines. It's 1999. It's almost a new millennium, sister. The church has moved on. Why, you could leave here tomorrow. And you will leave. Not tomorrow, but once things are sorted. What about our sheep? Probably best you slaughter them. The writers have written amazing characters that I feel so fortunate to have been given the joy of bringing to life. And I actually do believe that quite often we still are in this world where things have to succeed overseas in order for our Australian audience to appreciate them. And I feel sad about that, but we are making great Australian work. So Lambs of God releases on Foxtel on Sunday, July 21, the first two episodes. And one week later, the second two episodes and then you can stream them to your heart's content and an audience can what can you expect from lambs of god expect the unexpected i would say and jump on that crazy wildebeest and let it take you for a ride <laughs>